أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Those who reject Allah and hinder men from the path of Allah, their deeds will Allah render astray from their mark. But those who believe and work deeds of righteousness and believe in the revelation sent down to Muhammad, for it is the truth from their Lord, he will remove from them their ills and improve their condition. This because those who reject Allah follow vanities, while those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does Allah set forth for men their lessons by similitudes. Therefore, when you meet the unbelievers in fight, smite at their necks. At length, when you have thoroughly subdued them, bind a bond firmly on them. Thereafter is the time for either generosity or ransom, until the war lays down its burdens. Thus are you commanded. But, if it had been Allah's will, He could certainly have exacted retribution from them Himself. But, He lets you fight, in order to test you, some with others. But those who are slain in the way of Allah, He will never let their deeds be lost. Soon will he guide them and improve their condition and admit them to the garden which he has announced for them. O you who believe, if you will aid the cause of Allah, he will aid you and plant your feet firmly. But those who reject Allah for them is destruction and Allah will render their deeds astray from their mark. That is because they hate the revelation of Allah, so he has made their deeds fruitless. Do they not travel through the earth and see what was the end of those before them who did evil? Allah brought utter destruction on them, and similar fates await those who reject Allah. That is because Allah is the protector of those who believe, but those who reject Allah have no protector. Verily, Allah will admit those who believe and do righteous deeds to gardens beneath which rivers flow, while those who reject Allah will enjoy this world and eat as cattle eat, and the fire will be their abode. And how many cities with more power than your city, which has driven you out, have we destroyed for their sins, and there was none to aid them? Is then one who is on a clear path from his Lord no better than one to whom the evil of his conduct seems pleasing, and such as follow their own lusts? Here is a parable of the garden which the righteous are promised. In it are rivers of water incorruptible, rivers of milk, of which the taste never changes, rivers of wine, a joy to those who drink, and rivers of honey pure and clear. In it there are for them all kinds of fruits, and grace from their Lord. Can those in such bliss be compared to such as shall dwell forever in the fire, and be given to drink boiling water, so that it cuts up their bowels to pieces? And among them are men who listen to you, but in the end, when they go out from you, they say to those who have received knowledge, What is it he said just then? Such are men whose hearts Allah has sealed and who follow their own lusts. But to those who receive guidance, he increases the light of guidance, and bestows on them their piety and restraint from evil. Do they then only wait for the hour, that it should come on them of a sudden, but already have come some tokens thereof, and when it actually is on them, how can they benefit then by their admonition? Know therefore, that there is no God but Allah, and ask forgiveness for your fault, and for the men and women who believe for Allah knows how you move about and how you dwell in your homes. Those who believe say, Why is not a surah sent down for us? But when a surah of basic or categorical meaning is revealed, and fighting is mentioned therein, you will see those in whose hearts is a disease looking at you with the look of one in swoon at the approach of death but more fitting for them, were it to obey and say what is just, and when a matter is resolved on, it were best for them if they were true to Allah. 
then is it to be expected of you, if you were put in authority, that you will do mischief in the land, and break your ties of kith and kin. Such are the men whom Allah has cursed, for he has made them deaf and blinded their sight. Do they not then earnestly seek to understand the Qur'an, or are their hearts locked up by them? Those who turn back as apostates after guidance was clearly shown to them, the evil one has instigated them and buoyed them up with false hopes. This because they said to those who hate what Allah has revealed, We will obey you in part of this matter, but Allah knows their inner secrets. But how will it be when the angels take their souls at death and smite their faces and their backs? This because they followed that which called forth the wrath of Allah, and they hated Allah's good pleasure, so he made their deeds of no effect. Or do those in whose hearts is a disease think that Allah will not bring to light all their rancor? Had we so willed, we could have shown them up to you and you should have known them by their marks. But surely you will know them by the tone of their speech, and Allah knows all that you do. And we shall try you until we test those among you who strive their utmost and persevere in patience, and we shall try your reported metal. Those who reject Allah hinder men from the path of Allah, and resist the messenger after guidance has been clearly shown to them will not injure Allah in the least, but he will make their deeds of no effect. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger, and make not vain your deeds. Those who reject Allah and hinder men from the path of Allah, then die rejecting Allah, Allah will not forgive them. Be not weary and faint-hearted, crying for peace when you should be uppermost, for Allah is with you and will never put you in loss for your good deeds. The life of this world is but play and amusement, and if you believe and guard against evil, he will grant you your recompense, and will not ask you to give up your possessions. If he were to ask you for all of them, and press you, you would covetously withhold, and he would bring out all your ill feeling. Behold, you are those invited to spend of your substance in the way of Allah, but among you are some that are niggardly, but any who are niggardly are so at the expense of their own souls. But Allah is free of all wants, and it is you that are needy. If you turn back from the path, he will substitute in your stead another people. Then they would not be like you.